Hey Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector Channel where we are a community of collectors. Today we are back in my living room, which usually means I need a large space or a large table to work on a video. We are doing diamond art, Harry Potter diamond art. We're talking about my friend right here, the Hogwarts Crest. So diamond art is a do-it-yourself diamond art kit where you take colored rhinestones and create beautiful diamond art. I have not done one of these before, so this is a first for me. A big thank you to Diamond Art for sending this out for me to show you guys. Let's open up the box. Dun -dun -dun. Okay, we've got a little toolkit here. So we've got a toolkit, put that aside for now. This is the canvas, and it feels like inside of the canvas are the different rhinestones. Wait until you guys see how big this thing is and how little the rhinestones are. All right, you ready for this? Oh my goodness, they're so small. Look at this. That is what we're gonna be creating, but with diamond art. So sparkly gemstones of all different colors. Let me finish opening this up and then we'll take a look at everything that's included with this kit. Now, Diamond Art Club is not just Harry Potter. They've got a bunch of other fandoms, other art pieces that you can do. So if there are other things besides Harry Potter that you like, definitely check it out. Also included in here are the Diamond Art Club's Aurora Borealis gemstones or rhinestones. They have a coating on the top that mimics the Northern Lights. So this thing is just going to sparkle and glitter and make the Niffler in me, in you, go crazy. Let's take a quick look at the box here. So on the front, we have that finished artwork design. It says square diamonds, do it yourself, diamond art kit. On the back, it says jaw dropping artwork that you can do at home. No experience required. So if you're a beginner or experienced, this is something that you can have fun with. Have some time to yourself and leave your day's worries behind. Create gorgeous artwork that you can frame in your home. Makes a great gift for your friends, family, and loved ones. What you do is on this canvas, there's a film that you peel back and it reveals the pattern or the canvas with an adhesive on it. So you attach the rhinestones to that adhesive. And what's nice is you can just work on a little bit at a time, peel a little bit off, get that portion done, but then also cover it back if you need to take a break or something. This is something nice to do if you have a day off or something you have to work to kind of just get your mind off of things. And then step two is to select a symbol on the canvas that you would like to work on and then identify the diamond bag matching the color code, which is here next to the symbols. Press the tip of the magic applicator into the wax. All right, so let's open up the toolkit and then we can look at each of the different items. So we have the magic applicator, comfort grip, heart-shaped wax container, the craft tray. Oh, the tray stopper, that's what this little thing is. So this stops the diamonds from falling out of the tray. Multi-placer, oh, so like picking up multiples at a time. Cover mender, tweezers, and then Ziploc baggies. So quite literally everything you need is in this kit. You don't have to go to the store, you don't have to buy anything. You're gonna receive everything that you need to create this diamond artwork. Those are the steps, that is the kit. There are even some stickers included that match the side symbol and color code. So you can put those stickers on the baggies to show you which diamond or rhinestone is in that bag. I think I'm gonna start with the black area right down in the corner. So what we need is number 310. Here we'll find the symbol, which is the black with the circle, and it's number 310. So what we have to do is look on the bags here, and we actually have a bunch of 310. So these are gonna be all of this black area. So let's open up one of these bags, pour them in here. This tray is supposed to line them up so that they are face up, so that they're easy to, oh, you look at that, it's working. So then we're gonna take the wax here. Now there's a little film on the wax itself, so you wanna take that off. And I'm not sure how far to dip the applicator into the wax, but I think that's maybe enough. And bam, the very first one is on the corner. It definitely helps that these are square 
because they fit together nicely. And what's nice is on this side, we can add the multiple rhinestone extension piece and pick up a bunch at a time, especially if you have a long line here, and that just makes it easier to place them. So let's dip this into the wax. Then we'll be able to pick up a whole row. So with this extension piece, we have seven rhinestones ready to go. That will really speed up the process. So there, bam, a whole row of black has been placed at once. So be aware that this is gonna take a long time for you to do, but it's pretty darn mindless, it's easy, it's creative, and every time you place a rhinestone, you can see the artwork come to life. I'm gonna do one more row of black and then we'll move into some colors. So if you've ever done or seen paint by numbers, this is essentially what it is, except you use sparkly objects. I love that Diamond Art Club included these little baggies. I think that was a great idea. And in addition to that great idea, they've included these stickers to place on the baggies themselves. Bam. Let's next do symbol number seven, which is down here. So don't get confused with these numbers. If you see like, oh, it says number seven on there. It's the symbol that you wanna match up, not the number on the side here. So symbol number seven right there is bag number 972. 972 is yellow for Hufflepuff. So that's all the symbol number sevens in this general area. So let's move on to number two. Ooh, look at this. We have some of the Aurora Borealis gemstones and it's an orange color. Very fun. This is gonna give a nice shimmer effect. That is awesome. Here's an idea on how this thing shimmers. The camera's not quite picking it up, but it sparkles. Now I will say that the canvas is pretty forgiving. So if you place a gemstone incorrectly or it gets placed sideways or something, you can use your tweezers and pull it off and there's still enough adhesive on the canvas to replace that gemstone. I also find it very easy to place multiple rhinestones at once. The color coded canvas makes this super easy too. You don't really have to think, that's what's nice about this. I find myself like thinking about other things as I'm creating this diamond art masterpiece. And I'm the kind of person who gets stir crazy after a while. And this isn't something that you have to do by yourself. The Diamond Art Club sells tools separately so you could purchase extra applicators and do this with your family, do it with a significant other, do it with a friend, or even like a Harry Potter club. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? If you have a Harry Potter club at school or something, bring this in and say, hey guys, we're gonna create the Hogwarts crest out of sparkly rhinestones. When Diamond Art Club reached out and said, hey, would you like to show this on the Potter Collector channel? I said, absolutely, but also that I'm gonna need some sort of discount or a coupon code to give the Potter Collector community. And I will tell you more about that discount code in a second. The other cool thing that I'm noticing is there's really no pattern you have to follow. You just have to place the rhinestones in their particular square here on the canvas, but you can jump from color to color. Like now I'm back on the black color and filling in this area. There aren't really any instructions. Like you have to follow this step and then do this step and then do this color, do that color. You can go at your pace. Look, 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 it's coming along, slowly but surely, but it is coming along. This I'm finding to be very relaxing, and it's Harry Potter, so it's mixing relaxation, art, beauty, magic, all in one. Y'all wanna see some magic? Ta-da! I finished 
this beautiful art piece. Just kidding, guys, it's the exact same day. I didn't actually finish it. This was sent to me by Diamond Art to show you guys, because they know that this takes hours to do and they wanted you to see the final product. Now, unfortunately, I can't keep it. I have to send this back, but this is just gonna motivate me to finish my piece, which is right here. This is where we are right now, so a pretty good start. And what's nice is when you're not working on the art piece, just cover it back with the film and roll it up. Very easy storage, but let's take a look at this stunning piece of artwork. Now, I'm not sure if the Aurora Borealis gemstones are showing up on camera, but holy cow, does this thing shimmer and glimmer and sparkle, and the Niffler is going crazy inside. But this is on canvas, you can frame this, you can display this, and the adhesive really holds the rhinestones, the diamonds, the gems in place, so they're not gonna fall off. Oh man, that shimmer is just awesome. So here at the top, it says Hogwarts, and then we have the four house mascots, Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw. This is a large piece. It's 22 inches by 26 inches. Everything's shaded nicely. The colors are fantastic. And what's cool is even if you're not artistic, like I'm not the best drawer, this is something that you can do. This is something that I can do and be like, hey, I created that. Every angle you look, you see a different color shining off of these rhinestones. And it's heavy too. I mean really heavy. There are over 57,000 of these rhinestones. If you would like to order one of these kits for yourself, check the description down below. And a massive thank you to Diamond Art because they are giving Potter Collector community members $10 off, not 10% off, $10 off of your first order. And the coupon code to save is Potter Collector 10. Diamond Art Club has a variety of Harry Potter diamond art that you can order and do. So definitely check out their website to see what they have available. And good news for you international Harry Potter fans because Diamond Art Club ships worldwide. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Is this something that you would enjoy doing? Is this something that you would like to do with your kids or your grandkids or a friend or whatever, whoever? And also let me know how and where you would display a final piece like this. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, Comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?